everybody, we're back, and he's got to do aerial combos to kill these guys. Can he do it? I'm not sure. You better believe in him. There we go. When I mean he, I'm a Jerry. I got my tempo back. If there's none of you figure that out. Ah. Uh. So how is this guy with aerial combos, if you can remember? Not bad. Like, basically, I just have the not damage them too much on the ground, and then I can kill them in the air pretty easily. Hmm. And somehow that counted. I didn't think it was going to, but I'm not complaining. See, that right there is what I'm talking about with the too much damage in the air. God damn it, he didn't do what I wanted at all. I got to see the trick here. Doesn't look like he's very good at the aerial stuff. Yeah. Compared to, like, other action guys we've seen. Yeah, exactly. Like, Kratos obviously pretty damn good aerial. Because he has those combos in the air. Yeah, he does. Granted, you and I, although you a bit better than me, oh, usually that? did. Oh, um, oh, 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 God! Oh, oh! Damn, and, Jared, you really hate those eyes. Well, it's the only way to get out, unfortunately. There's no spare option. Not in this game. No mercy for you, eye of pain. Eye of pain. But yeah, so... I do remember one of these eye challenges are a bit annoying, just cause you have poison over time, you have to kill everything in a certain amount of time while the poison kills you. And I think you have to fight one of the big dudes with the f fire fists. But it's also not that bad once you get the hang of it. How often do you have- I'm oh, sorry. No, 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 what? How often do I have to do these challenges? Yeah. Only when we have to free a gate guy. And how many gate guys are there? I want to say, including these two, I think four or five of them overall? Mm, I think it's one per section, honestly. Okay. I think. So in that case, four- Oh, I found it! It's the poison one! Oh, I have to kill 50 people, great. Oh, you got the siphon, that's good for that. Yeah. Is that this a female one? Oh yeah, no, there's female humans in there. Nope. It's a point where humanity was all male. There's no females. This isn't good. Life this was really boring. <laughs> this isn't Warhammer 40k where all the space marines are guys for some reason. Oh. I good. Uh, gonna say like orcs or something. I was like, oh yeah. Oh no, that's their own, no, orcs are their own race in the 40k. Why? It, all right, so here's the funny thing about orcs. Everything in the 40k universe technically has psychic powers because that's just kind of how it rolls. Yeah, that's how they were able to command armies across the big bats. I guess. That too. But like the orcs whole thing is their psychic power is actually really good, but they don't know it. But it comes about where all orc technologies or vehicles, technically from how they physically work and everything, should not physically work. They, they should just be like unworking things of metal, but their psychic abilities are like, oh, we want this to work, and it works. Gotcha. So they're so powerfully psychic, they don't even know about it. They're but strong. It, yeah. In the force. Exactly. But they have no idea. It's fucking hilarious. And what's funny too is their whole belief system, their whole system of like, on things, is that if they paint their vehicle certain colors, it does certain things. So red, if I remember right, does more damage. Blue, if I remember right, I think it- and I'm probably gonna get corrected if I'm wrong about this, but blue I think is supposed to make things faster or more speedy. Yellow does something, and I think they have purple ones too, but the point is they paint vehicles different things for whatever they th want their vehicle to do better or something. It's fucking hilarious. And the thing too is they create spaceships as well, so their spaceships work on combined will of psychic energy that they have without realizing they have it, and I just find that fucking hilarious. Cool. What? Yeah, sure. Colorful vehicles with psychic powers. Very nice, Jared. Yes. But yeah, no, uh... I don't know if this was a theory confirmed anywhere, but... Hmm? If nature were to intend it, um, I guess a world of nothing but females could make sense because what is it? With humans, I don't know how true it's other species, don't uh, quote me. But to get a uh, female, you just need two X's, right? And to Someone. get a male, you need the X and the Y clump. 
Right. Which kind of explains that graphic novel, Why the Last Man. Hmm. I forgot about that. So if a species were to evolve to only have one gender, I suppose females taking over would make more sense. Heck, I heard there's actually a species of lizards that are all female. Hmm. And Interesting. for them to reproduce, two females, one is on top of each other and hump, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then the one below just like lays eggs and reproduces asexually that way. Right. Because they're triggering the body to think, oh, they're having sex with a male? Uh, here's the eggs. But somehow its DNA is like so concrete. It's like, oh, uh, I'll just make clones. Nice. And that's kind of how they have these lizards have babies. Mm -hmm. So, be a big fan of lesbians, maybe humanity will go in that direction. Mm -hmm. They're hungry each other and then boom. Yeah, I'm sure it's more complicated than that. Probably. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, I was just finishing all my ice cream. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Alright, so what? Okay, we got one more left. Yes, we do. The good news is, I think for each guardian, I think it's only like five challenges, four or five challenges. Oh, that's good. It's not like 10 or 11. Yeah, no, they didn't make it too insanely tedious. It's slightly tedious, but it's not too bad. <laughs> Well, as long as you have fun with it, I guess. Yeah. And for me, it's just basically a lot of... Literally, you just kill things, really. Just with different challenging things. Uh, so let me ask you. Gonna be? Yeah. Is there any point in this game where you remember it as being one of those... God damn it moments. You'll play enemies using only wars, instant kill attacks within the time limit. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. All right, so wait, what was the question? I'm sorry. Like, God damn it, moments? There are a lot of games that I play that have fun, but sometimes these games occasionally have those challenges that you feel like the learning curve just exploded on you, or oh. it's so damn complicated or cheap that you're like, why? Why is this in here? Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think of a good example. I don't have one, but there is one, like, in... Uh, Resident Evil 4, uh -huh. eventually when you go inside Salazar's castle and you play as Ashley for a short bit, oh, yeah. there's a part where she has to do a slide puzzle mm. throughout the game. Uh, it's just like shooters and maybe just like move some things around, but then all of a sudden you're like given this puzzle and you gotta do the slidey thing and I'm mm -hmm. like, why is this here? I don't like these and I don't like doing them. Yeah. Again, that's not a good example of what I mean, mm -hmm. but I've played games where I was pretty okay at it, or good at it, yeah. and then all of a sudden I'm given a challenge where I'm like, why am I doing this? Like, I guess a good example would be like if you play Mario Sunshine and you did the pachinko machine. Oh, yeah. It's like one of those things where it's like, the whole thing's a mess, you have to, well, you don't have to do it, but if you want to, you have to do it, and you're like, god fucking damn it! Is there any moment like that in this game? I, uh, there's one, I think, when we get to the sand area, or the desert, rather, area, that's kind of like, oh, that's a lot of stuff and things and goddammit, but other than, well, okay, there is actually one we're coming up to, kind of, hmm. only because it uses a different mechanic of everything, but at the same time, it's not that bad. Oh! I remember what I was gonna say, Reggie, with the three parts thing, like three different game parts in this game, and I mentioned Legends of God of War. Yeah. The other part is shooter. Shooter? Yeah. Like, it has, uh, shooter mechanics. Like that. Oh, See? right. I about that. Yeah. And that section I'm talking about that we're coming up to has a little some of the- Oh, it's a big dude. Shit. Forgot about him. <clears throat> Crap. But, uh, yeah, the part we're coming up to has a big shooting section, and it's a little difficult, but Sam, it's not that bad. And it's it's mandatory, though. We have to do it to get to where we're going. I'm stuck in the corner. Oh, dear. Yeah, back against the wall. Oh. oh, right. I forgot that does massive damage against them. I was using it to pause the big... God damn it. Get out of the fucking way. Dick. Hey, you got two minutes. Uh, you got your six enemies. You can probably do it. Yeah. Oh, good. A bat. 
Bats are incredibly easy to kill in this game. Much like harpies and goggles. Oh! Well, that's not good. I need help, Bat. Give me help, please. Oh, rip. Rippy Tim Tim and his buddy over there are not happy. Just be moved. Oh, okay, good. More of these dudes to spawn. Okay, shit, I missed it. I missed with the fucking uh, spikes. That's not good. Not gonna lie, that's a bit not good. Come on, health, 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 health. Ooh, yeah! You got this, bro. Uh, I just need one more. I just need one more. Got and me. there's a boatload of fuck coming this way. You can do it, dude. You got this. <laughs> you got this, son. Oh, 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 oh. oh thank God. Told you you there. Ah. You got nervous for no reason. That got a little intense at the end. Just a little bit. Now you can kill another eye. Yep. Kind of reminds me of a dragon and also... All right, oh. now I have a counter. Very good. What's this? What's this? Ow! Ow! Oh, God! Ow! Can we do it again? We have to do it again. And because I used some wrath on that, I'll open this one as well. That makes sense. Alright. Teleport. So, oh, but there you go. I was like, what? You were like, what? And I was like, huh? And then you were like, Matt. And I was like, what? That must be the last of them. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Go to the red dot, I guess? Or you gotta follow him? No, no, no. He, he just flies around. Yeah, we're going to the yellow dot. I'm not too sure if this is the Ocarina of Time roll efficiency. I can really hold a can, but then again, I have no idea how fast he is normally. Uh, I've timed it. He does move faster with the dodge. Alright. Oh. Except when he hits coins. Yeah, that, uh, that did slow me down. <laughs> oh, right, of course. Alright, did we appease you, gate dude? Yes, we did. No, you did not. I wanted a pizza, too. With rocks. Lots of rocks on it. I'm a golem. I eat rocks. <laughs> Hell, fine. Oh, well, thank you. I really hope they brought them back in the sequel. I don't remember. <sighs> Ravager. Oh, nice. So, every now and then in this game, it'll give you... Well, like it says here, they're basically like runes in a way. And what you can do is you can go here, and you can okay, no, those are passive. Where the hell? Where's oh, it's this screen. Okay, you can basically um put it on something, destroying environment objects. Okay, so this one I usually put on the sword. All right, so now whenever I destroy things when using my sword, I get more souls. That's all purpley now. Oh yeah, they add effects to the weapons. I forgot about that. Normally I would destroy all those, but just gonna go through this door. Open that door like a friggin' Kratos. Yeah, he does. He really does. Who needs handles? I can use my foot. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're in sewer pipes, I believe. Lovely. We're gonna meet Crocodile. This is gonna pop into frame and scare the shit out of you for some glitchy reason. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a bat. <sighs> Come on, jump and grab him. Jeez. Hey, hey what's it? You want to hang out? Oh, God! A fun hey, game you can play out? is oh, uh, trying to hop from bat to bat and grabbing them just in sequence. That sounds like a challenge right there. Like, get I to think this it point. actually is a challenge. I think there's an achievement for that, but mm -hmm. I don't remember. Oh, of course, why do Whee! that when you get the wings? Whee! God, just imagine Ward doing that. <laughs> they just told me, <laughs> Like, boy, Throw I the take car! Seats. Sorry, I was annoyed because he wasn't throwing the car. Go ahead. No, I'm done. Where do we go next? Oh, okay. <laughs> right, the map. <laughs> Freaking tells us. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything? Oh! Ambush! Ambushido! Kill them all! <laughs> and slash. 
I do like that little fan effect they got going there. Oh, yeah. Very the, factory feel. Yeah. The whole cool thing about the scenery in this game, and even the sequel, is that you can see what things once kind of were, in terms of, like, what their old uses used to be. Like, um, there's a section in the second section of the game where we're on, like, an old highway. Actually, no, there's a section coming out where we're also on another highway, but point is, you can see all the, th all what used to be, and you're like, oh, okay. Cool stuff. Well, uh, let's get through this room real quick, and then we'll have to call it a day, because you know what? We're reaching the limits. Wow. Another would just be those guys. Also, I didn't ask real quick. Mm. Uh, do eventually you get like fancy new combos with your sword? Where yep. if, like if you press it a couple times, pause, and then press it again, you could do like surrounding attacks or whatever. Oh, oh yeah, okay. that's the stuff we buy from Volgrim. All right, let's buy more stuff from Volgrim and get through this door on the next episode to be continued. Oh, okay, we get through this door. Then we go down to the hall to be continued. Quick before the hyena come.